Texas rigging for largemouth bass is still very, very productive. In fact, it's still used on a tournament trail for a lot of these pros. But with Texas rigging, just a couple of pointers that I would like to mention. One is that I, um, you have to make sure that the worm hangs straight. If it's got a little bit of a bend in it, it's not going to catch very many fish, if any fish at all. Then two, what I personally do is I'll take that point of that hook and run it all the way through the plastic and back it off so it becomes weedless. And then a big ingredient I really feel in helping us catch more fish is the size of the worm weight. And I generally offer the smaller size, the lighter uh, weight one versus a heavier one. If you got finicky fish, yes, use a smaller one. It's going to make a big, big factor. You want to uh, create this subtle action of that bait that you're using. And the heavier baits, sure, along a deep weed line, maybe for more aggressive fish. And then two is this, you know, the size and the color of your uh, worms that you're going to use. You know, four inch, six inch are sort of common, but do consider eight inch and 10 inch worms of different colors. Uh, color is a big factor. We're going to talk more about color uh, and some of the other tips, why it's so important for us. But if you work with the different styles of, of baits, uh, of the Texas rigs, worms, and so forth, as you can see that I have a number of different colors, different diameters, size-wise. It's a big factor. Work with it, experiment with it, you are going to catch large bald bass today. Find more prep sports games and highlights at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.